Hi family, welcome back into our channel. This is Prophetess Nikki, and I'm so grateful that I get to come back and encourage my family another day. Thank all of you for what you do on our channel. Thank all of you. I mean, every single one of you for all of your acts of kindness, your super thanks, your cash apps, your prayers, your well wishes. Thank each and every one of you. And I know that God is going to give you a thousand times more than what you sow back to our ministry here because God says that he's going to give to you good measure pressed down shaken together and running over he's going to cause men to give into your bosom God is so faithful and I want you to remember his faithfulness it doesn't matter who has been unfaithful to you in whatever area of your life God is going to be faithful to you he's a man of his word he's not like man God is not going to tell you he's going to do something for you and not do it. I was asked a question regarding a narcissist family. Listen, a lot of people who are narcissistic, they love having the upper hand. They love having the say in your life. The narcissist that was in your life is having a hard time. And that narcissist is going to have a hard time now that you have given that narcissist a dose of their own medicine. A narcissist has such an ego, a real pathetic ego. But on the inside of that narcissist, these people are cowards. They're weak. They show on the outside that they're so confident but honestly and truth truthfully family are narcissists they're not confident people this is why they have to be around so many people to validate them see you didn't feed into somebody's ego you didn't feed into this narcissistic person's ego and they discarded you for a lot of reason but that's one of the main reasons why somebody who had a narcissistic trait that was in your life at one moment. This is why that person ghosted you because you didn't feed into their ego. They're so used to people feeding into their ego. They're so used to people giving them accolades and applauding them and praising them. And when that narcissistic person ran across you and you did not do that, they began to scratch their head and, couldn't understand why you were not the same as everybody else because you're not the same. You had enough courage to give that narcissistic person a dose of their own medicine and you did that to heal yourself. You went silent and the narcissist hates the fact that you went silent that narcissist hates the fact that you're quiet and you shut down and you went within and you ran as far away from them as you possibly could you ghosted the narcissist you ghosted the, the ghost you ghosted the ghost you did and the narcissist hates you for it so be careful be careful not to open that door to let that narcissistic person back in your life because they want revenge. That narcissistic person wants revenge because you conquered your fear of being alone. The narcissist wants to gain revenge. They want to take revenge because in their eyes, whenever you went silent, that is a form of rejection to the narcissist. Whenever you ghosted that narcissist, whenever you went silent, whenever you shut down, whenever you turned your back, whenever you ran as far away from these people as you possibly could, that is a form of rejection in the eyes of a narcissistic person, and they hate you for it. A narcissist person, whenever you gain the courage to walk away and heal, when a narcissist realizes that, that they've been found out, that now you know who they really are. When the narcissist realizes that you have realized who they really are and how they operate and how fake 
that they are, they hate it. Because in their eyes, this is a ultimate failure to them. They couldn't conquer you like they did everybody else. And in their eyes, they've been rejected by you. Instead of them rejecting you, you rejected this person. And whenever you reject a narcissistic person who has issues, you be very careful. Because they'll say anything and they'll do anything to waltz back into your life only to finish destroying you. So when somebody runs away from you and ghosts you and becomes silent toward you and now they appear, don't get happy about that. Don't think anything other than the fact that it's a huge possibility that this person's life is not going well and now they see my life is doing a little bit better than theirs and they want me to charge their life back up. Don't be a charging station for anybody who has left you on red. They thought they could do better than you. They thought they could build somewhere else. But the devil will always give you a form of godliness. The devil will always appear to be something that is not. So these narcissistic people went somewhere to try to build and they can't build because of the foundation that they built on. You have to build, you have to build on a solid foundation and God is our, our foundation and they didn't build on that foundation. They began to build on a foundation that was full of their own ego, what glittered, but now they're realizing and seeing that everything that glitters is not gold. They're learning how to choose a little bit better. Some people who left your life, they're learning that they didn't choose right. They're learning that they choose, they chose wrong. And now they got to sit in that seat of regret. Now they are going to be remorseful, but they know they can't change the circumstances. They can't change it. Because sometimes God will allow his judgment And his judgment will be an individual sitting in the decisions and reaping the consequences of their own action. You rejected someone who has a narcissistic trait. And whenever you rejected that, whenever you rejected that person with these narcissistic tendencies and these narcissistic traits, they saw this as the ultimate failure because you weren't supposed to reject them. You were not supposed to be silent. You were not supposed to ghost them. You were not supposed to turn your back. They were supposed to do these things to you. This is how narcissistic persons think. And if you're not careful, they're going to make you think you're crazy. A narcissist is going to do everything in their power to make you feel worse than what you already do. This is why you can't keep a door open for a narcissist. Don't look at the time you've been building with somebody. If it's not healthy, pray over your situation and the Holy Spirit is going to lead you what you need to do. I want you all to stay encouraged in the things that you are desiring to do and the, the things that you're desiring to become, the person you're desiring to become. I want you to always keep that before you because that's what's ultimately important. All of the things that you ever go through in this world, take the lessons from that. Take the lessons that you learn from your history so you don't repeat your negative history. I love you all so much. Thank you for what you do on our channel. Thank all of you for all of your prayers. Thank all of you for supporting the book. Just thank you all around. And I want to give a shout out to Kylie Woods. Because God is always touching, touching your heart to do something. And I want to thank you, Kylie Woods, for your obedience to God. Because God is going to give you something better than what you're believing him for. He's going to do that. And to all of you who are supporting our ministry by sowing financial seeds in this ministry, 
I want to thank all of you for what you do. And I want you to know anytime you obey the voice of the Lord, God is going to get something to you. You know, we can go through so many things in life and we just don't understand sometimes why God will ask us to do something when we have a need. But that's God. Sometimes God will give us an illogical instruction. And that illog illogical instruction, is it, it never makes sense to our natural mind. But in that instruction, God is teaching us how to hear him. And God is teaching us how to obey him. So a big thank you to everybody, to each and every one of you, name by name, one by one, who is sowing whatever God is telling you to sow. Even if it's a prayer, even if it's a well wish, we want to thank you for doing that. We want to thank you for giving at, at your point of contact because giving, planting seeds is a contact. You always remember that. It is a point of contact. It is a point of reference for the things that God is going to do for you, for what God is going to do in you, and for what God is going to do through you. Your enemies will never be able to overpower you. They will not. It will always boomerang back to them. It will never come now your dwelling place. It doesn't matter what point they send that error. That error will be destroyed before it gets to your house. It will be destroyed before it gets to you. No one in this world will be able to intervene into the happiness and the joy and the love and the success that God is bringing your way. You stand on God's word. It doesn't matter what come. You stand on God's promise because his promises are true. God's promises are yes and amen. A narcissist will feel rejected by you every time. And the reason why they feel rejected because you've given people a dose of their own medicine, but you didn't do it for what the reasons that they think you thought that you did this. You did this because God led you to walk away. God led you to turn your back for good. God led you to mind your own business. God led you to go within and heal your trauma because the things that God has prepared for you, it is absolutely amazing. Their part in your story is over. Sometimes God doesn't allow a person to rewrite history with you because God knows the heart of people. That narcissist, is looking at you as the ultimate person that they lost. They're looking at the jewel that they had within you. And now that you're no longer there, they're looking at their life as an ultimate failure. They are because you rejected them. You ghosted them. You went silent. And your silence is a mean of that narcissist feeling rejected. Continue to move forward in your life because nothing that you need is behind you. Nothing. Nothing that left your life, you need it. It doesn't matter what left, who left, you didn't need it. And God allowed it to leave. God allowed them to leave. So let them go. And let them go even emotionally. Get these things and these people out of your thoughts so God can do an amazing work in your life, family of God. The best is truly yet to come for you. Thank all of you, Team Nikki G, for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, family, and keep liking our videos because we want to reach more people. We want to reach more hurting and broken people. So please keep liking our videos and keep sharing them and pray. Keep a prayer life because the more you pray, the more powerful that you are going to become. I pray that God will always bless all of you. I pray that God will continue to keep you and prosper you in every single area of your life because God is going to do exactly what he says. You can bank on that because he's faithful and God is never slack concerning his promises like humanity is. We'll talk later. God bless you. Bye-bye.